Hey, this is Steve from B&M Performance and Off-Road. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your shifter stick on your Quicksilver Ratchet Shifter. Now these chrome replacement shifter sticks work on the Universal 3 and 4-speed Quicksilver Ratchet Shifters along with the console ones for the 68 through 72 Chevelle and El Camino, the 68 through 69 Camaro, the 73 through 81 Camaro, and the 70 through 81 Firebird. Now let's dive into this and I'll show you how to replace your worn out shifter along with a little bit of maintenance. Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and remove your shift knob, remove your bezel, and then remove the side skirt. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and remove your shifter cable along with the four mounting bolts and then remove your shifter from your vehicle. So on the passenger side of the shifter, we're going to go ahead and remove this little E-clip, go ahead and remove the spring, and then remove this little collar. So we're going to start off by removing the little E-clip. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the spring from the shifter, and then we're going to slide this collar off and then slide the spring off. So simply just pull it up, slide the collar off, and go ahead and remove your spring. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and remove this rear spring. Okay, now the next thing to do, if yours is set up with the blocker pin, you wanna go ahead and remove this with the E-clip right there. Okay, all right, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and drill out these four rivets right here. All right, now you have your rivets removed, go ahead and remove the brackets. Okay, next you wanna go ahead and remove this spring. You wanna remove it at the pin that's attached to the chrome shifter stick. Just gonna go ahead and just pick up on it and then slide it off. Okay, next we're gonna take these three plates. We're gonna take them as a pack and just slide them out. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and remove the old chrome stick. Now we're gonna to have to move the lever forward into this opening right here. I'm going to kick out the bottom and slide the stick out. Now that you get your Quicksilver ratchet shifter completely apart, now this is the time to go ahead and do some maintenance. If your shifter is really sticky and not moving very well, um, and your grease is all dried up, go ahead and clean it all off with some nice brake clean or some solvent, and go ahead and re-grease it up. Now we got our new chrome shifter stick. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall it, and put it through that hole. Okay, now you wanna take your chrome stick, you wanna go ahead and maneuver it to where this hole is exposed, and you put your gate plates and this pin back in. Go ahead and reattach the pin through the hole. All right, now we got our new chrome shifter stick in with the plates. Now you wanna make sure this little chrome nub is in between both of these two plates. Now we're gonna reattach the spring, okay? All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and re-rivet the brackets back onto the shifter. Well, we're gonna go ahead and use an air rivet gun. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and reattach the spring. That's gonna go from down here over to here. If yours has the lockout pin, go ahead and reinstall it. Then go ahead and reattach the E-clip. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and reattach the spring, the collar, and the E-clip. You want to make sure you position the shifter to where both windows are free. So we're going to go right about in the middle right there. Go ahead and put the spring on. And then you're going to put the collar on. And then go ahead and take the spring and separate it. Okay. And then now go ahead and push it down. And then put the E-clip on. Okay, now that your ratchet shifter is back together, go ahead and test it out, make sure it functions correctly. There's first gear, second, drive, neutral, and then go back down to drive, pull it up, and then it should go into reverse, and then reverse into park. Perfect. Now that you get your shifter reassembled, go ahead and put this back into the vehicle, hook up that shifter cable, put on that side skirt, your chrome bezel, and your shift ball, and you're ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this little how-to video, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our B&M YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.